win. Definitely. How much did the locker room need another win? Very bad. We definitely needed that. Um, I think we played together as a team, um, complimented each other on offense and defense, um, plus three in the turnovers. Uh, I think that's definitely been hurting us uh, in games. So um, that was great to see. You know, I feel like we ran the ball well. Uh, I think Tyson really commanded the offense and really, you know, had us all in the right spaces. So pretty good. Personally, how did this one feel for you, especially you know after being inactive for so many games early in the season? Yeah. Um, I mean, it felt great. Um, like I've been saying, uh, like my faith is just high in God, and He's always been there for me, and you know, helped me overcome a lot of things that I've been through. Um, and I'm just trying to continue to be the best I could be and continue to um, just grow as a football player and as a person and just continue to um, dominate when I get my opportunities. What did you think of uh, Bajan's poise in his first NFL start? How did he handle the huddles and all the things that you have to do to be a winning quarterback? Um, I think he was just himself and nothing different, nothing any different than we've seen through preseason up until now. Um, I think we all expected him to be that type of guy um, and come out there and do what he did today. So no surprises from us at all. What has gone into your progress as a pass catcher? Um, I mean, I felt like I was I could always catch the ball. My one drive early in the game was terrible. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I've always been confident in my ability to catch the ball. I just never had really a lot of opportunities to do so. So like I said, just when I get those opportunities, try to take advantage of them. Yeah, repertoire going even a hurdle, hurdling. <laughs> yeah. um, what went into that? What's the thought process? Um, honestly, I've been doing that my whole career. I started in high school. That was my first time ever doing it, and then had a couple in college and a couple of, while I've been in the NFL too. So it's just something I've always done. Um, you know, and they they was clowning me a little bit with the first one because I ain't I ain't get over the guy, so I had to do it again to show him I could do it. Oh, so, so, so DJ yeah. Moore said he was the one telling you stuff. Johnson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, how it went down. yeah, okay. yeah. You said sure. last week that you were close to breaking a couple for touchdowns. Yeah. How gratifying is it to get in the end zone three times today? Man, it felt great. Um, you know, wish I could have turned some of those other runs that I had today into big runs. Um, I want to go watch the one when I tried to jump over the, the safety. Maybe I could have just gave him a move and kept running. So might, might want to have that one back. But other than that, felt great, man, honestly. Felt one great. Th- one thing we heard from everyone in the locker room is Tyson Bajan is confident. Yeah. And that, that was going to benefit him. How did you see his confidence show up today? Um, I think it started just at practice. And, um, you know, the way he handled his business at practice this week, um, you know, coming into the game, the way he um, – you know, stood in front of everybody and just, you know, kind of rallied us together. And the way he just approached the game um, all day today, I think, you know, you could just see it, you know, when he was out there playing, how confident he is in his throws and, you know, just making sure everybody's in the right place. With, with the whole operation, was there anything where he looked like a guy making his first NFL start? Or did he look like he's done it before? No, nah, it definitely looked like he's done it before, for sure. Yeah, yeah, no. okay, what do you think about the way Tyson played? It seemed like he kind of took what they were giving him every time. Yeah, he took what they was giving him. Uh, he stayed within himself. He didn't go uh, out and do nothing extraordinary and he just stayed calm, collected, and did what he had to do. It seemed like it was a balanced attack. Mm-hmm. Running, passing, it seemed like it was very balanced. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, uh, we played a real balanced game. You know, the running game got off to a hot, hot start. The passing game came along. You know, uh, Tyson made throw some throws on the run, and uh, <laughs> it was good. What was he like in the huddle, like? DJ Bajan? How was his poise and oh, yeah. getting all the plays out? He like an NFL quarterback, you know. He came in, uh, loud, took control of the huddle. Uh, we felt his presence. Uh, we wanted to go out there and ball for him, and, and that's what we did. And see the result of it. Did you see the difference of him having reps this week, being able to perform even better today? Uh, yeah. Anytime you get more reps with the starters or the ones or whatever you call it, uh, that uh, that's going to boost your uh, confidence going into the game. And then you see it today. He even went out there and, uh, like I said, in the huddle, he was confident, loud, and straight to the point. You, you, you know, uh it's just him. Well he rolled out, you know, different people scramble drill, you know, got him to uh, different people. Uh I know Mooney had catches, uh hmm. <laughs> Tyler had catches. Tyler oh, we got a long talk with Tyler about what he did. But uh, Tyler had catches. I think everybody had catches, uh, to be honest. So, I mean, it's good to spread the ball and uh, you know, see what happens. What's the long talk with Tyler? Uh, the, one, the one pass he caught with his stomach uh, across the middle, we're going to have to talk about that one. How much of a boost is this for you guys to get this incisive one today? Uh, it's a big boost, you know. 
once you get that winning feeling, like I said a couple of weeks ago, you don't never want to lose it. So we came into this locker room, the music was going, everything was going. You don't want to lose that feeling. What do you feel like you guys unlocked the offense today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Wins, being consistent uh, in the past game, uh, having not having negative runs and stuff like that. So that's what I think we accomplished today. Another great performance by the defense. How did you feel about the way that unit was playing all, all day long? I think we did good. I think we did a heck of a job on, the, on third downs. I know that's something we took a big step in and wanted to take pride in this game. And I think we did that. We came out here and limited the explosive plays. Um, I just know personally I got to clean up some of the penalties. But overall, I think we flew around and held and held them pretty good. Jalen, I know you've heard about your, your lack of interceptions. In your yeah. Part. So how good did it feel to get two of them today? I mean, I would just say it feels good for me, just confidence, just knowing that I can make plays. I know. At the end of the day, it's about opportunities. And I know for me, I, I don't want to miss any opportunities. So just today being able to capitalize just felt good, reassured me of who, who I am. And I know what I can do. And I know I can take the ball away. It's just about opportunities and taking advantage of them. Did you send you the message with your celebration after Damn right. <laughs> 100%. Take us through that pick six, how that play developed for you. Uh, honestly, I just seen the court. Of, uh, I mean, we was in deep third vision on the quarterback, and I just seen him really looking at him the whole time. And I kind of started looking at Devon, so he started settling down. So I figured I'd break before he broke. Back to sending a message. I mean, yeah. You want to get to the table right now with the Bears? I've been wanting to get to the table. I mean, at the end of the day, it's I, I know who I am. I know I can play this game at a high level, and I feel like I deserve to be paid like that. So I mean, I'm taking that attitude for for any team, for any any and everybody in the NFL. So I mean, if it's with the Bears, and I, I'll do that. If it's with anybody else, for sure, I gotta. I feel like I'm, I'm one of those guys that can be paid at a high level. Nah, I ain't a superstitious guy. <laughs> Ten straight losses at home. What's it feel like coming in here again? I mean, it feels good. I get to go home and watch TV with a smile on my face, and now, now I want to turn the TV on. So, I mean, just honestly, just going out here and getting the getting the dub for the home crowd, getting the dub for for all of the city and I know it's been it's been a, a long time coming um, and it's really just about giving giving them what they want they come out here and they show up each and every game and give us energy and it's only right to give them a W. Jalen I know you want to shadow a guy like Adams but what do you think of the, what do you think of the job that Tyreek did in helping out on Adams today? I think he did a, a good job I think it's really just about taking taking off the explosives off your head I mean he's going a rookie going against the Hall of Fame potential guy so I mean at the end that you do you know he's going to get his catches and they knew and we knew they were going to force him the ball with everything going on and so I mean we, we knew he's gonna get his catches but I think that's about limiting limiting his production I think he did that and we did that as a unit yeah I mean it was a good call as much as I don't want to say it, I gotta find a way to get my head back out I was running so hard and then you kind of slowed down the ball was thrown short so I mean it's got to find a way to get my head back in the context of this game and where you are, how much does a play like that bother you? Like, do you figure, well, it's just something that happened random? Or do you nah, feel like that's I gotta, something you got to No, I got to do better 100%. And it's, I mean, even for me, just got to do a better job reading the receiver's body language. I think I was so caught in trying to get back in position instead of truly reading him. And I think if I would have read him right and looked back for the ball, I could have had three. So, I mean, just for me, knowing the, the level that I play at, I mean, it's not, it's not acceptable. But again, you know, things like that happen as a corner out there. So I mean, just got to keep going. But definitely a play I would want back. What's the confidence level of this defense as a whole? You guys seem to be having a certain trend in the Ball right direction. Alert. I think our confidence is high, Ball and alert. like I've said before, I think it's just about us being who we know we can be, um, and going out there and ag being aggressive, oh, executing. I think coach has been putting us in good position. I know we've been doing a lot, uh, locking up on third downs. We've been going a lot of dime, just figuring out different ways to go out there and win and execute. So I mean, we all believe in each other. We know we can play this game at a high level. What is this? Some passes that I could have, you know, defended better and could have played a lot, a lot more clean in the game. But uh, definitely happy with the team win. Definitely happy how we went out there together as a team and played together. What happened on that third down right down there at the goal line? Uh, it was a great ball, great catch. You know, at the end of the day, I play one of the hardest positions on the field. So, you know, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. No, I'm talking about the in – it was incomplete. Oh, but incomplete. It, looked like, it looked like Devontae was open. Well, what third down are you talking about? They're near the end. Near the end. Devontae dropped the ball. Oh, uh, oh, we was in coverage. Like I was saying, you win some, you lose some. Going against a veteran receiver, you know, uh, he put together some moves. Could have did a better job on my feet. Could have played the ball better. But at the end of the day, he dropped it. You know, we got the team win. What was with you guys? What, you, you guys were going from side to side a lot. What was... That's just how we play our defense. That's that's what our co coach is comfortable with. That's what they want us to do. Uh, so, you know, just we do it every day in practice. 
Can you take us through your first pass defended against Devontae Adams? It was the first drive. He had got a couple passes, but then you, you got the PD on the third down. Uh, yeah, no, we were just playing a lot of zone. You know, Coach believed in us uh, on third down and play man, and I just knew the ball was coming. Just, you know, hearing from the media and everything that was going on with him wanting the ball, I just knew the ball was coming, so I just knew I had to do my job at the best way I can. What did that do for you to get that first PD, that first drive? Just just added to my confidence, you know, gave me that confidence I could go out there and play, and, you know, I go out there and cover a veteran like, you know, Deontay. So, just added to my confidence, and I feel like it just added to the team confidence. You tried to play in sides, but there was no real shadowing going No, no real shadowing, not at all. We uh, Side switching? Yeah, pretty much. It feels great. It feels great, man. And that's just the resilience, you know, this group has, this team has. Um, you know, obviously it was very frustrating last week, but, you know, we're not looking in the past, man. Our mind was, you know, focused on getting better, focused on repeating that performance as far as domination. And, um, you know, that's what our focus is on for the rest of the week. You know, obviously we want to be a dominant defense. You know, we preach about it. We, that's how we work at practice. And uh, so I'm not surprised at all, you know what I'm saying, just to see the way guys come out at practice each and every day, to see the way guys fly around and the way we hold each other accountable. Um, you know, things showed up today. You guys obviously put emphasis on takeaways. How good does it feel to get three of them and for you two weeks in a row now? Right, yeah, it feels good. It feels great, actually. I mean, obviously, we play this game to win the, the, the turnover margin. And, um, you know, that gives you a big chance of winning, especially scoring on defense. You know, taking my hat off to Jalen, made two big plays. Uh, well, I should say three since he made it, you know what I mean, since he ran it back for a touchdown. But, uh, I mean, that he, he always works. You know what I mean? Everybody works. And, uh, you know, it's really just a – you can put it up in there who's going to make the play because uh, we got a lot of playmakers on defense and um, we just got to keep, you know, repeating this performance, keep repeating, you know, taking the ball away and uh, really kind of make it a competition, you know what I mean? But uh, like I said, it, it, it was definitely, you know, good to see that from him. Um, you know, obviously that's somebody that works hard, got a ton of respect for him and, um, you know, glad I was able to get the win. What do you think has been the big difference for this group the last couple of weeks since you guys have steadily improved? I think we just continue to mesh. You know, obviously we face a lot of adversity, you know what I'm saying? Adversity builds character. You find out about, about your team, you find a lot about yourself. And uh, just to see the way that we stayed together, um, just the chemistry we still bonding, the chemistry we still building, um, I really think that's the difference, you know what I mean? It's not really a big difference as far as what we're doing because we've been playing hard, we've been practicing hard. But um, I think just the attention to detail, the way we come out of practice, the way we hold each other accountable uh, shows up on game day. What did you think about the way Bajan played? I mean, it was good complimentary football that really right. helped the defense. Right, yeah, I think he played – you know, I think he played his tell-off, you know what I mean? And um, to see that from a young guy, you know what I mean, coming there with that confidence, you know, obviously you know, it was good for the football team. And, um, you know, I think he did a lot of good things and a lot of things that he can build off of. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just glad that he had the confidence. I'm glad that we got the win. And, um, you know, I know he's extremely happy right now. When did you get a sense in training camp when you watched him that he was more than just an undrafted guy? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, training camp, you go against the offense a whole lot. And uh, just seeing, like, his playmaking ability, um, you know, he made a lot of good plays, running and throwing the football, and uh, even preseason, you know, he made a lot of good plays. So I'm just able to, he, I'm, I'm happy that he was able to come out today and, you know, you know, show the world what he could do. Was there a moment in camp that you were like, okay, this guy's a little bit, a little bit more than just a guy fighting for a roster? Yeah, it was, it was a couple, you know what I mean? We had a couple moments, obviously, you know, a lot of, a lot of competition in training camp and, uh, you know, just seeing those things that we saw. And uh, I'm just glad he was able to show everybody what we already knew. When the secondary can step up like they did, Jalen had the takeaways, Tyreek had a few pass breakups against Adams. What is that? How does that trickle into the entire defense? Yeah, it trickles down, man. Anytime we have, you know, play, that's our play, those are our playmakers, you know, along with, you know, other guys we have out there. Uh, we have a lot of playmakers out there that, that can make those big time plays. And, um, you know, defense in general strives off that. It's energy, you know what I mean? And, you know, what one person do, we all feel. So, um, you know, I'm just glad that, you know, we were able to, you know, play fast. And, um, you know, I'm glad those guys were able to make those big plays. That's, that's just confidence, you know what I mean? Where do you feel 